Hi guys, I'm Pale Hale. And I'm Jenny Lager. And in this episode of Twist and Stout, we are home brewing. So last Christmas, I had just gotten my dad a beginner's home brewing kit, and we are going to make a blonde ale? Yes. A blonde ale. So we have our instructions right here. We have our setup ready to go. So let's do this. Let's go. Okay, so step one, as it says, water is the key ingredient in any beer. So we had to heat up four quarts of water up to 163 degrees. So let's see if we're there. Let's see what we got. Yep, we're at, actually we're just, we're, we're a little bit over. So we got to do just a little cooling and we'll hit the 163 and be able to start. So now we're at 163 degrees. So now what we're going to do is take the pan off the burner and add our malts. Okay, then we're gonna add in our malts. And now when we add in our malts, we should be bringing the temperature down to a range of 149 and 152 degrees Fahrenheit. And we are going to gently stir until all of the hops, our malt is wet. All right, so now that we have all the malts in and now that they are stirred in, we have to see if we got a range of 149 to 152. So let's see where we're at. Okay, once the temperature is set, we'll set a timer for 60 minutes and stirring roughly every 10 so that we hold our temperature from 149 to still 152. No, so I heard that you're gonna uh, gonna go to the glasses store and get some new glasses. Yeah, I think I'll get a new phone on there too. Why would you get a new phone at the glasses store? Because I'm gonna get an iPhone. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez Louise. <laughs> with some names for this beer, this uh, Golden Blonde Ale. I was thinking uh, a little tribute. Let's call it the Four Foot Nine Ale. The Four Foot Nine Ale? Four Foot Nine Ale. Is that for Megan? <laughs> a tribute to you, obviously, your sister and my daughter. And uh, Megan, see how that goes. if you haven't guessed, Megan is Four Foot Nine. And Blonde. And Blonde, <laughs> but also she likes to tell everyone that she's not just solely Four Foot Nine, she is Four Foot Nine and Three Quarters. <laughs> So that would be also a good name, but how about some others? All right, so now that our mash is done, what we just heated up, now we are going to strain it into a separate pot with nothing in it. We are going to use a strainer with a cheesecloth. So we are just gonna strain the water, and as you can see, the mash is all below. So when the mash is complete, we have uh, drained the water. Now we have to scoop the mash and run the mash through um, the strainer also. Okay, once you start putting your mash into the strainer, you have a second pot of water that you bring to 170 degrees and you have to ladle, strain it over your mash, just to rinse everything through the mash. And just repeat the process to the end of your water. All right, so now that we are done uh, rinsing our mash, now we have our liquid wort, and now we need to boil it to 212 degrees, get it to a rolling boil, and then we will do that for 60 minutes. All right, so now that our liquid wort is at a rolling boil, now we can use this time to sanitize all the rest of our stuff for when we have to put it in the fermenter. So we'll go ahead and we're gonna sanitize all of our other equipment in this sanitizing bath, which the sanitizer is included in your brewery kit. So we're just gonna go ahead and soak, soak and wash all of our equipment. All 
All right, so now that we have boiled our liquid wort for 60 minutes, now it is time to put it in an ice bath where we need to get it to roughly about 70 degrees. So let's bring it over. And now using our sanitized thermometer, sanitized thermometer, we are going to see if it reaches that range. All right, so our liquid wort is at 70 degrees, so we're gonna go ahead and take it out of the ice bath and pour it through our funnel into our growler and to ferment it, so let's do it. So now that we've pull, poured all of our liquid wort into the fermenter, it is time to add the yeast. The yeast gets added directly in. Give a couple of shakes to get it mixed in. All right, so now that all of our liquid wort is in and the yeast is well dispersed, now we are going to put in the fermenting tube, which we will put on an airtight cap, just like this. We will put a fermenting tube in the airtight cap so that it just goes in to the top part of the fermenting uh, growler and then the other uh, end of the tube goes into a cup of water and what the cup of water will do is releases the CO2 within the wort and then it'll eventually ferment and become alcohol. So then dad what's the next step from here? From here we'll have to attach the uh, airlock We'll attach the airlock, and that's not for seven days, and that'll complete their fermenting process, which seven days will follow, we can start to bottle. So we'll see you back here in 14 days. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>